the three hundred and fifty million pounds a week we send to the EU, which we will no longer send to the EU, can you guarantee that's going to go to the NHS? No, I can't, and I, and I would never have made that claim. Seventeen million people have voted for Leave. Yep. Based, I don't know how many people voted on the basis of that advert, but that was a huge part of the propaganda. You're now saying that's a mistake. We have a ten billion pound a year. A 34 million pound a day feather bed that is going to be free money that we can spend on the NHS on schools or whatever it is but you're not guaranteeing that that money as promised will go well, to you the must NHS you must understand I was ostracized by the official leave campaign and did my and as I've always done there, did my own thing do you think there are <laughs> other things that people will wake up this morning and find out aren't going to happen as a result of voting this way well I tell you what they will find out that we're back to being a normal country uh, in charge of our own laws and able to start making our own relationships with the rest of the world maybe even re-engaging with the Commonwealth and the real friends we've got out there. Donald Trump's flying into Scotland as we speak will you be speaking to the uh, Republican nominee. He's obviously like you. He's a very populist candidate, non-political type, who's fought, fighting hard on immigration and so on. Do you see parallels with his well, campaign and the one that you fought? I've been compared to many things over the years, but not Donald Trump as yet. But thank <laughs> is you, that a new, is that a new, thank you for that. Is that a new low uh, for you, it's, it's, Nigel? It's, it's, it's a bit early of a day for that sort of thing. Look, you know, uh, there is something happening in American politics that perhaps is a bit of a mirror mm. of what's happening here. A feeling in much of America that what happens in Washington is too detached, too remote, um, and Trump is cashing in on some of it. I don't agree with everything he says, uh, but he must have a chance of winning. Final message for the people watching this who did not vote for this, who are pretty shocked. I'm reading it on Twitter. Yeah. They're like, what has happened to my country? I can't believe it. They fear that we've now become a kind of semi-racist, little Englander mentality country overnight. What do you say to people that genuinely fear that? I know a lot of Remain voters did it reluctantly. They did it because they believed the scaremongering and the fear stories about economics. All of that is wrong. And I would say to all of them, listen, guys and girls, we're living in a 21st century global economy. We have just broken free from a backward, failing political union. The world is now our oyster. When are you having your first pint, Nigel? Or have uh, you had it? Um, I'm, I'm, I've had a couple already. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, it would be churlish not to again congratulate you, you. on a successful campaign. We have voted to leave. That's been your big, uh, well, your dream for many years, yes, as yeah. you said. So we congratulate you and the Thank people that worked with you. To be driving around in a German bus with a figure on the blazoned across it, which he knows is completely misleading, because he knows that that amount yeah. of money is not actually what it costs us. He's got a point, hasn't he? No, because that sum of money, as we've exhaustively covered in this campaign so far, is entirely accurate. It is the sum that we cannot control, that Brussels preempts. Yes, it is true that some of it includes the rebate, but you cannot rely on the rebate. 